Hi everybody, it's Jim, Victor Alpha 7, Sierra Hotel Golf here in beautiful Chilliwack. Been playing a lot with Packet lately on my Raspberry Pi with Dire Wolf and I've found a program that I think you'll find interesting. Really help you do your packet beyond doing APRS and Winlink. So let's get at it. Okay, so this is the software I want to show you. It's called Linpack. It's been recently updated. Uh, it's a little bit confusing to use, maybe not so if you're used to using Packet Radio. I'm not, but uh, I think I've got it figured out enough that I can show you how, uh, show it how, show you how it works. Okay, so I've got Jason's Build a Pie script here, uh, basically just fresh out of the box. Done a little bit of uh, playing around with it, make sure that things work, but otherwise it's basically a Build a Pie. So you can download the latest version of it from here as a tar.gzipped file. I've already done that. We'll open up a terminal here. CD to downloads. We want to do a tar xvzf. xvzf. x for extract, v for verbose, z for uh, uh, zipped file. And uh, F, I guess maybe for file. I've already unzipped it. And it'll unpack it like so. CD into it. And then this is standard, or it used to be standard. It's been a while since I've built packages from source. But generally the uh, procedure is run configure first. will tell you if you get any errors here tell you which types of things you're missing but as long as it gets to the end you're fine then make and then sudo make install that's it easy peasy installs it in the user local bin directory, which is fine. Let's clear the screen and we'll just run linpack for the first time. I'm going to be running this as VA7SHG, my home BBS call sign with SSID. Well, I have a BBS at home and it is VE7 Tango Golf Zulu. Uh, it's accessible at dash three. So I'm going to enter that. Enter the name of port to connect to. Well, this, I believe, is going to be our AX25 port, which on a build -a pie is WL2K. Enter the digipeters used. I'm not going to be using any digipeters. The full hierarchical address of VE7 Tango Golf Zulu. Okay, I'm going to guess on this. I'm not sure if this is required for what I'm using this for, but let's make a guess. I'm going to say Chilliwack.bc.ca.North America. Okay, and that worked fine. And there we're dropped into the interface. Now, I'm going to show you a couple things to get this configured that I've done. Alt X to exit, as it says there. Okay, so first thing we, we need to do before we run, we need to either decide if we're going to run linpack as root, which I'd prefer not to do, and prefer to make the listen program set UID root. Okay, if we scroll a little further down here, we can see we do that with this command here. So on our build a pie, I'm going to find out where the listen command is first. So user bin ax listen. So we just want to run sudo chmod4755 user bin ax listen. Now, it's created a directory now, a linpack directory. So let's cd into that. Clear the screen to get us back up top. 
And then there is also a macros directory in there. So let's cd into macros, macro, sorry. Now in here is a bunch of files. The one in particular that we're interested in is the init.mac. So I'm going to use nano, I'm going to nano init.mac. OK, so here's the uh, things that we've entered already. The port is WL2K. Our unproto port is also WL2K. Okay, here's where we do our screen setup. The stat line I'm going to make smaller. I'm going to make it 5. The CHN line, unsure what that stands for, but 35 looks good to me there. Also want to uncomment the swap edit. Okay, call sign setup. This I'm going to leave for now, though I'm going to show you something very, very interesting after. Oops, unproto calls. So unsourced call sign. I'm going to use my own here. And the destination, our local, our local club here, we just use CQ. QRG, I'm not sure that I need this detail, but our packet frequency is 144.4500. And I think everything else I am going to leave as is. So let's control X out of here. Save Y. Init.mac is the name we want. And now let's try to run Linpack again. OK. I think that looks a little bit better. Alt X to get out of here again. There's one other change I want to make. OK, let's go back into the init. I'm going to make this line 30. And I'm going to add info line 3. Save that again, and now let's try to run Linpack. Okay, that's a little better. Gives me a little more space down here to see the TNC info. Okay, so now let's show you how to use this. Okay, so we need to first set up Direwolf. Let's fire up Pat menu first. Start our packet modem. Pat right now, so I'm going to minimize that. Now let's get back to our terminal. Now I'm going to run Linpack. Okay. So the way this works now, I am in tab one, let's call it. If I want to connect to a station, I'm going to connect to my home BBS here. I'm going to go colon C, and then the call sign that I want to connect to. Here. That's connected to my station up there. Now I can run any commands that I normally would. colon D to disconnect. If I'd like to do it via Digipeter, I would go colon C, the call sign that I, or the station that I want to connect to. And via, and I'm going to do it via my station. And 
you see I'm connected now to VE7MXT via my station. Now, the neat thing about this program is that I can also, I also have separate sessions via my F keys. So currently I'm on F1. If I hit F2, I switch to a second session. This is just my handy talkie. I doubt I will be able to connect to this station. But it is running separate from, and you can see that down here. Okay, and now I can also, actually let me flip back to this call here and disconnect. Okay, you can also, if you want to send unconnected messages, you can go to the F10 screen. Ooh. Okay, let's fix that. So we're going to go into our preferences here and into advanced. And here we say disable menu shortcut key, which is F10 by default. So that's what's got us stumbled here. So let's turn that on. Let's go back to our terminal now and we'll try F10 again. And that drops us into our unconnected mode where we can just communicate with our TNC or direwolf directly and send out test packets. And all of this is maintained. Well, I could also be having a session here. with my station. Hmm, I'm not sure what just happened there almost looked like I connected to myself. Okay, that's better. So I have a session going here with VE7 Tango Golf Zulu. If I flip back to my F10 session, I'm still operating in unconnected mode here. If I flip back to my F1, I'm still connected to this node. So this is a super useful packet program for your Raspberry Pi. Go ahead, give it a download, see how it works for you. Let me know in the comments. This is VA7SHG73.